Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, you may end up spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Make sure you stand till the end. We will explain what we are talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe, Chevy Suburban, that generation right here that you see from year 2007 to year 2014. If you guys have one of those, if you want to, uh, if you have a problem where the AC blows hot air on driver's side, Call on passenger sites, they will just will explain what can cause that. Do not waste your money to fix the AC system. Most likely it's a simple fix that will cost you only a few dollars. We'll talk about that. Then we'll explain where you can guys buy cheap parts and tools. That way you do not waste money and time. And why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize how that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban, practically they are built on the same platform. We'll be making a video about every single fuse relay in that SUV. Why? Because let's say you're down the road, you need to find where the fuse for fuel injectors, fuel pump, ignition coils is located. That way you can fix your SUV and be back on the road. We will have that information. You'll just spend a minute or two watching the video, fix it and it will take care of that problem. Now, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmissions, mechanical, body work, and we have more than 12,000 free repairs on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. In addition, guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So if the AC blows hot air on the driver's side, what can guys easily cause that? We will explain what we see here at the garage. Now imagine the driver vents blow hot air, but passenger side blows cold air. That means your AC works good, AC compressor is fine, so no problems with the AC system. It's something else, it's with the climate control. You want to see guys, okay, to check your climate control fuses, you have multiple fuse boxes, one here under the hood that looks like this one one on the side of the dash that looks like this one and you have another hidden one but you don't have any climate control fuses here now before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so guys always check your climate control fuses for any of you guys that need to see where the climate control fuses are located we have the video on the channel but guys eight out of ten times that little device will be the one that will cause okay the driver's side to blow hot air this is known as blind door actuator if you have a dual climate control where you can adjust temperature on passenger and the driver's side you have two of these so practically it's attached to a flap behind the dash that switches from heater to ac from hot to cold and if you open it it consists of a motor with plastic gears usually that gear here will wear out or one of these will crack or the teeth will get worn and as a result it will start it it will, it will be stuck in the wrong position and that's why you start getting hot air on the driver's side because of a blind, bad blind door actuator we have special video that explains how to replace blind door actuators and the symptom of, uh, symptoms of bad blind door actuator check it out it will be on our channels if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know hopefully the video was helpful thank you for watching see you next time